Item number SCP-165-FR Threat Level Yellow Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-165-FR is currently contained in sight inside a 10 meter square chamber 3 meters in height. Temperature inside the cell is to be kept between 8 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius and a day-night cycle must be applied. The cell is to be permanently ventilated in order to decrease 165-A-CA concentration as well as renew oxygen inside the cell. Due to 165-A-CH non-lethal nature and short lifespan, no destruction systems are needed for air treatment. The object is to be fed 45 kg of meat from any source once every four days by two Class D personnel wearing hazmat suits, and the operation must be supervised by a Level 2 guard. The food must be quickly placed directly inside of the entity. The second Class D personnel is instructed to rescue its co-worker feeding the entity, in case the latter is endangered. Intervention of the guard is allowed if complications occur. The containment chamber is to be cleaned once per month by a staff of four Class D personnel wearing hazmat suits. One of them will monitor SCP-165-FR and report any suspicious movements. SCP-165-FR is an organism mainly composed of flesh resembling a human-made tent. The object doesn't possess epidermis and consists in 22% animal flesh, 52% human flesh, 23% muscles and tendons, and 3% unknown biological materials. The object's frame consists in two bone arches, each divided into 122 vertebrae, with a consequent nervous connection at the top of the object, where they meet. These arches are slightly articulated and allow distortion of the object's frame in certain situations, such as reaction to an exterior stimulus judged harmful by the entity. The entity is also able to locomote at a maximum speed of 3 km per hour with the locomotion process adopted by the object resembling that of gastropods. Despite its appearance, SCP-165-FR is covered in a thin transparent membrane protecting its external and internal organs from its environment. In addition, this membrane allows skin breathing needed by the entity to function. It also acts as a very powerful olfactive organ, allowing the entity to sense the presence of organic objects in its vicinity. An organ resembling a cardiovascular system reinforced by a keratin plate can be spotted in the back of SCP-165-FR, functioning in a manner similar to a human heart, with two arteries allowing irrigation and blood and oxygen going towards the arches and dividing into a set of smaller vessels. The object's blood type is A-positive. When the object is inactive, consequent contractions and swelling of its surface can be witnessed. This is considered normal. SCP-165-FR does not necessitate any resting phase such as sleep, however a change of behavior was noticed during its first containment when a day-night cycle was interrupted. In absence of light, the entity takes a white coloration, slightly collapses and refuses to eat. Opposedly, prolonged night exposure causes the entity's movement to speed up as well as the entity's metabolism, which compels it to eat more frequently. SCP-165-FR's behavior goes back to normal once the day-night cycle is re-established. SCP-165-FR is carnivorous. When it detects a prey, it emits a fluid, designated as 165-A forward slash C8, using glands located near its opening, which is volatile once expelled and has an efficiency radius of around 12 meters. This gas acts upon victims who breathe it by inducing slight amnesia and altering their nervous system as well as their perception of SCP-165-FR. A human will then perceive the entity as a regular tent, as a stronger and stronger urge to enter is felt. These effects dissipate after three hours in human subjects. The gas also affects animals which adopt the exact same behavior as humans. Once the prey has entered it, SCP-165-FR will rapidly close and maintain a high pressure on its opening, using the contraction of nearby muscles. Glands near the opening will then cease production of 165-A-C8 and begin producing gastric acid with a pH close to 1 until the prey is liquefied. Non-liquefied parts such as bones or metal carried by the victim will be regurgitated. A large amount of enzymes are then released by a vesicle located in the entity's lower body to digest the prey and allow feeding of the entity. SCP-165-FR then excretes waste under the form of an oily substance which oozes from its base and is generally used to speed up locomotion. 
Addendum 165-1 SCP-165-FR was recovered on August 15, 1999, in the forest of… while in a digestion phase, following an intercepted call from a civilian to police forces signaling a red thing that ate a person. The remains of an adult male identified as a homeless person were recovered in the area. Mobile Task Force Beta-7 was then deployed for initial displacement to the closest site in order to analyze the object's anomalous properties before definitive containment of site.